Armstrong's life, no man had ever landed on the moon, and the idea of it was unfathomable. In the early 20th century, World War I created tensions between countries, increasing international competition for innovation. During the Cold War, the space race arose, and the United States wished to be more powerful than the Soviet Union grew larger. With the Soviet's development of Sputnik, the United States felt behind and were frustrated that they weren't able to develop a satellite even similar to it. However, it inspired the United States to keep developing new ideas to advance. The need to win motivated NASA to develop mechanisms to send the first ever man to the moon. Neil Armstrong changed NASA's trajectory and contributed to U.S. history. Although some may argue that Neil Armstrong doesn't deserve to be inducted into the APUSH Hall of Fame because his efforts were a team effort and not entirely his own, his contributions to history by his naval military accomplishments and his Apollo 11 mission proves that he does. Neil Armstrong was born on August 5, 1930 in Wapakoneta, Ohio. From a young age, Neil Armstrong had always been fascinated with airplanes, going often to the Cleveland air races with his father. At 16, he got his student piloting license, allowing him to further explore his passion. When he was 17, he went to Purdue University to study aeronautical engineering, with the U.S. Navy paying his tuition. He was the second person to go to college in his family but his time was cut short because of the Korean War. In 1949, he began to serve in the Korean War as a naval aviator. During the war, he flew as a Navy fighter pilot, flying over 75 missions and earning two gold stars. His efforts helped assert American power over the Communist North. Because of Armstrong, the Navy became stronger and his love of aviation grew, leading him to explore other opportunities in aviation. In 1955, Armstrong joined NASA as a research pilot. He held that position until 1962 when he was chosen to be one of the three astronauts on the Apollo 11 mission. On July 20th, 1962, Neil Armstrong officially stepped foot on the moon with his team and became the first man to do so. This was a large accomplishment for America and it officially ended the space race with the Soviet Union, proving the United States more powerful than the Soviet. America collectively came together to celebrate the major success. The Apollo 11 moon landing led to further innovations in aeronautical exploration worldwide. Because of his efforts, he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom and was inducted into the National Aviation Hall of Fame. Sadly, he died August of 2012 from complications of coronary bypass surgery, but he left a large lasting impact on American aviation and aerospace. Though Neil Armstrong isn't the most influential person in United States history, his contributions in aeronautical endeavors had influence on American society by providing hope and inspiration to many citizens. Through his efforts, many people became inspired and pursued their dreams, ignoring the thought that it could be impossible. He caused many people to gather in hopes for a better future. His work earned him many awards, further displaying how important to American culture he was. Neil Armstrong would not have been as successful as he is without the help of his team at NASA. Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin worked together for America's major success, but behind the scenes, a group of African-American women, specifically Katherine Johnson, calculated numbers to ensure the safety of the astronauts returning home from the moon. Apollo 11 was not only a success for American aerospace developments, but also a success in proving to society how intelligent women in STEM are. Neil Armstrong helped display the advancements in both engineering and society in America. That's one small step for man, one 